This is so good. All right, guys. What's up? I'm Steve, cooking with the Schmidt. I'm here in South Carolina. And today we are making a pizza in the Blackstone Pizza Oven. We're gonna use all type of ingredients. We're gonna use Urban Slicer Neapolitan style dough. We're gonna use Urban Slicer sauce. We're gonna use Urban Slicer seasoning. Hot and sweet peppers, some pepperoni, onions, mushrooms, mozzarella cheese. We're just gonna make it loaded. I want a really good pizza. So let me show you how I made this. Today I'm using the Urban Slicer Neapolitan style dough. All worked up, look at that. That dough is ready to be formed into a pizza pie. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna throw some flour down so our dough don't stick to the cutting board. All right, so we're gonna grab our dough up and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pinch this in half. There we go, look at that. All right, so that looks rolled out pretty darn good. I'll tell you, this this dough is amazing to work with. It's just so easy. You just add your water and look, look at that. That's a, that's a nice little pizza right there. I'm happy with the way that turned out. So now that we got the dough all flattened out and ready to rock and roll, we're gonna use our pizza peel and get it set up to place the pizza dough on, and then we'll make our pizza. We're gonna put down some semolina flour so that way our dough don't stick to our peel when we launch it. See that there is ready to be made and it will launch freely. And I'm even using the Urban Slicer pizza sauce. So the Urban Slicer pizza sauce, we're gonna slap on this Urban Slicer dough and just make an Urban Slicer pizza. Look at that. And this is where you can do however much sauce you like. You can do thin coats, you can do thick coats, whatever you like. I like to do a little thicker and get it all the way out to the crust. I like to have that burnt crust, or that burnt sauce on the crust with the cheese. There we go, just like that. Then we got mozzarella cheese. Let's put some of that on here. Look at that. Shredded mozzarella cheese. And again, you can do a little, you can do a lot. I like a lot of everything. All right, so now we got the mushrooms. Let's put some mushrooms on here. There we go. This is a color mushroom. I like mushrooms. And then we'll do a couple onions. Yeah, I like onions too. Now I used my mandolin and did some thin slices. That way I can get onions all over this. we will have plenty of onions in all bites. Look, and I'm not taking up too much room on my pizza. Not too much room. We're gonna take these little hot and sweet peppers and we're gonna place these hot and sweet peppers all around. Then we'll do some pepperoni. I like a Hormel pepperoni. Hormel makes a really good pepperoni. I, I like to just munch on pepperonis at all times, so I always have pepperonis. We need pepperoni. Now this, we're not gonna go so lightly on, because I like a lot of pepperoni. You okay, Abby? Don't eat acorns. I got pizza cooking. You ruin your dinner. Do you think it's enough? You think we should need more pepperoni? Yeah, let's do more pepperoni. We love pepperoni. So I think that'll be enough pepperoni for now. See, I'm trying all the ingredients while I make the pizza. That way I know they go together. Now, we're gonna do the red pizza mojo, also from Urban Slicer. And we're gonna throw some of this down on top of the pizza here. And then I always like to top my pizza with more cheese. Do a little sprinkle over the top. Just a little, there we go. All right, so now we got this bad boy rolling up on temp, almost where I want it. But we're gonna go ahead and launch this bad boy. Right there, just like that. All right, we're in for a minute and a half. Let's check her out. Oh, look at that. We'll give her a little spin. Ooh, and we'll put it back in. All right, so now my pizza's been in for three minutes. Let's check this bad boy out. Something tells me it's about ready because it smells delicious. Mm. 
OMG. Would you look at that? That just, that right there, I'm calling done, son. That's a pretty looking pizza. I'm happy with this pizza. Did I say it was a pretty looking pizza? I meant to say it's a pretty looking pizza. But, but, ooh, buddy. All right, now let's get her cut up. All right, so pizza's done. Now I'm gonna cut it up with my Inkbird pizza slicer. Love this thing. All right, let's go. All right, look at this, look at, here we go. Oh, buddy, look at that cheese pull. All right, so, let's try it. Mmm, hot. That is good, that is good. The Urban Slicer dough is phenomenal. Just wanna give a shout out to Urban Slicer. Thank you guys for hooking me up with this dough. I love it. it. It is delicious. It was easy to work with. I didn't get bubbles like I normally do other doughs, which might have been just the way I needed it or whatever, but this is this is good dough. Let you guys check them out. I got the link in the description below. Mm. All right, well, that's my pizza, guys, and uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Give it a shot. It's real easy to deal with in the pizza oven. But with that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next cook.